Hello, I'm Dr. Ron Valdeseri here at the 20th CROI meeting in Atlanta, Georgia, and I am delighted to be joined by Dr. Grant Colfax, who is the director of the White House Office of National AIDS Policy. At a science meeting, I wonder if you could generally speak to the role that science will play in helping us achieve the vision of the national strategy. So the national HIV AIDS strategy, as you know, calls for an evidence-based uh, approach and really ask for science to lead the way. And really the focus is in our efforts to reach the president's goals that are specified in the national HIV AIDS strategy, that we really follow the science, that we, that we, that we support science, that we bring forth the, the results of scientific studies and really implement them on the ground. So things like uh, increasing uh, HIV testing, mm -hmm. uh, linking and engaging people in care, providing life-extending medications to people living with HIV, all of those are very much based, based in the science. And at CROI, what's so uh, great about the meeting is many of the things that we are now doing in the field that some of us might even take for granted um, have, have really been discovered um, and, and announced, uh, have been discovered and announced at, at CROI. And I wondered if you could just share uh, with the audience what you think are some of the, the high-level kinds of observations you're taking away from the meeting. Well, I think some of the some of the big um, scientific uh, pieces that are particularly compelling here, again, a focus on on the cascade and, and the prevention work that we need to continue to do in the United States. So, um, again, engaging people in care, linking in, linking people to care, providing retroviral therapy. One of the big breakthroughs has been that um, treatment is prevention, and I think one of the questions now is how do we provide uh, people with life extending medications that are more efficient, more effective? And there's a lot of talk um, at this meeting about what's the next generation of retroviral drugs that can be even, uh, uh, that are even better um, and, and more effective in, in terms of reaching our treatment and prevention goals. So I think that, that that's one area. Um, the focus on microbicides, um, which are um, gels that um, when applied uh, can prevent HIV and sort of what, what are we doing in terms of new technologies in that area is critically important. You mentioned cure and vaccine research. Um, you, we've had some really exciting um, uh, data presented here about um, viral uh, eradication. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we need to see whether, um, what that, how we move forward in that in that field scientifically, but there's a lot of hypothesis generating uh, work that's being presented here. So it's really laying the, the road map for the next generation of, of, of research. In the United States and other countries that have been able to implement the science that you described, right. we, we've actually seen tremendous uh, decreases in the number of babies born with HIV. And I think that, that that's, um, thank you for bringing that up, I thought that was a great session in, in sort of thinking about what are the next steps we need to do to really move towards eliminating yeah. um, maternal field transmission worldwide. We've done a great job of that in the United States, a lot of that has been through testing and treatment. So I think domestically, and again in keeping with following the science, um, relating back to the national HIV AIDS strategy, how do we extend that, that, that work to other populations yeah. at risk for HIV, including gay men, um, communities of color and so on and so forth. So I think that it's a really um, opportune time to continue to bring the science forward. I think it's important to point out that although much of the CROI meeting is focused on HIV, uh, more and more of the meeting is being devoted to better understanding treatments for viral hepatitis. Right. And we know so many people who are living with HIV are also living with hepatitis that many of the, there are overlapping epidemics, what we might call syndemics, uh, in the United States, and that in order to uh, uh, meet the goals of increasing health and wellness for people living with HIV, we also need to always keep hepatitis in mind. So. Right. Well, thank you. We've been talking with Dr. Grant Colfax, Director of the Office of National AIDS Policy. This is Ron Valdeseri reporting from CROI 20 in Atlanta, Georgia.